the loose boot and take it to the platform. Then from there, take out count the number of bunches to enable the company know the number of bunches uh, taken to me on daily basis. Then from there, the dumping truck evacuate the bunches to me uh, on the very same day to help uh, reduce and avoid uh, 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 some problems like BOP, like a and fatty and free fatty acid. By, by so doing, it enabled us to uh, have quality oil in our farm production. Do you have any bonds around you now? Yes, ma'am. We can go inside and let's go to the direction. So when the bunch, the loose foot has detached from the bunch like this, then we, we cut. So like how many, how many uh, bunches will that be? How many bunches? In a year. No, no, yes. In a year that, you know. Around 25, 20, 25 to 30 bunches in a year will come, sir. Come out. Yeah. But if, uh, if we get 10 to 12 months of rain, then we can get almost 35 to 40 bunches in a year. Because so of five months of dry season, we get around 25 to 50 bunches. Oh yeah. So this is ready for harvest. Yes, yes sir. Yeah, harvest. Yeah. The harvest time. Harvest time. Yes. Yeah. Oh, just like that. Yes. Just like that. We also pick all the loose fruit. We pick the first one. Because the weight of this is about 3.5 kg. Yeah. Yeah. Really? What's with the average weight? Average weight uh, should go to around 7 to 8 kg, but in the peak time it will go to 20 kg. When it is 8 years old, it will go to 20 kg. Uh, so as the older it gets? Yes, up to eight, from 8 years to 13 years of planting, then you get the maximum yield and maximum crop and maximum weight. So the fruits will be bigger then? Yes, yes. the fruits will be bigger at that time. Yes. Yes. So this is the sign the one, it becomes red in color. This is the time that it will start happening. And then one root root will fall down, and then you know that it has fallen from this uh, uh, FSB, then you have it. Okay. And how, how tall is this? this it can this go, tree? the maximum it can go up to 9 to 10 meters. Yeah. So this is still going to be like. Yeah. 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 So this four, four tree has eight. how many That's years life? 25 years. Yeah. Yeah. Then you need to replant. Oh, you keep it. And you become a copy in the old bag. No, it's even better. Oh, but, when, but this one doesn't yeah. produce that one. It does. It's fine. Oh. Uh -uh. Hello. How are you? <laughs> Hi, sir. This is our blog which is planted in May 2020. This is the same after harvesting, you take it over there, and then you are sending this to Okomo for processing because we are not cut up after 15 So we are sending this cut up after 15 So why are you harvesting Because if we don't harvest, then we lose the revenue. It's coming from that. So you need to harvest because the fruit is not justified to set up our meal yet. So once you have substantial quantities, then you can put up your meal. Doing the solar lighting, 
have given employment to almost 1500 people. Out of that, 1500 people, and out of that, you don't get almost 40% of the population for employed. First contract being given to the state uh, people so that they can come and do the employment. So if you don't have a job, come to the farm. <laughs> <laughs> So, I think it's one of the things we'll be looking at with you and the rest of them. Say, um, housing is going to be an issue for you because you can't provide all the housing for all your workers, is it? Yeah. So, we, us, and the local governments, we, as part of the planning, maybe we can encourage investors to and government to do low cost housing in the communities. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Because over time, you should be able to give mortgages to your staff to own their homes. Which we are on yeah. already. Well, you're not going to move from here in another 30 years, are you? <laughs> no, no. no. <laughs> Minimum of 50 years. Yes. <laughs> you, you, you understand? 30 so years is just one generation. Kind of one generation of uh, past. The past. <laughs> <laughs> you must think of. So, I want to say, where are the communities? For instance, how do we now get land? Huh? There's land. Yeah. Okay, I'll give you my grandpa that way if you don't have <laughs> <laughs> So that we can think of how. <clears throat> Huh? Yes, there's employment now. Let's go housing. Okay. Yeah, after three years it will start to be. Yes. So uh, from here now, this hole is already 
take it CM by force CM. Yeah. Yeah. When uh, planting, first of all, apply the fertilizer. So you are going to spray the fertilizer around the Thank you. So after doing this, we have to apply some soil on top of the fertilizer so that we can not the roots of the mouth. Ah, okay. That's okay. So you next time we will do the dialogue part. So you go back to the soil and uh, this for So you push aside. So those uh, from the next okay. okay, so you make sure that the height of the thing is still about this. But we're doing it now because we're the dry <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we're doing it right now. Yes. Thank you very much. You come and put some here for this one. This is my yes. farm. Yes. 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 Yes.
Okay. Yes, my people. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on the location of when you're watching this video, my name is Emma Apostle Alfred Ojo Williams, and the Street Commissioner. The man with the talk and the shop of the house. No, 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 be Lagos with it, no, be Bado with it, no, be Lagos with it. These are the two feet far. And I really they are amazed the numbers of persons we do not care. Now, we get to section, and the section from Cassava, and they also get for Bam. And uh, I, I really, they happen because uh, this, this uh, investment, these are uh, development, they happen under the Godwin and Bazakin Net Administration. And I'm really, really happy. So when people say they come and talk to me, they say, wow, you know, the workers of basic working here, none of the producers cannot buy from this place and all the household things. So guys, uh, there are not, not enough of those to mark infrastructure uh, politicians. What we need now, we need more technical people that we build institutions that will make Nigeria become great again, that will make Nigeria become great again. We have uh, a new right now, and I'm really happy with what they have for you. This is the second for for Kassama, guy, a basket. God bless you. So guys, we're going to take another one for the see what they have here. This place is there for the Petway area. For you know, they are not me. I am happy. No be Lagos, no be Abuja, no be Badon, not be here. All these things come into a go under the leadership of Dr. Godwin of Basaki. And those actually becoming great again. Guys, share this video. You guys have not seen anything yet. So that's the reason we reclaim for AI, artificial intelligence. We are already in the season of artificial intelligence. So guys, and those becoming great again. When I share this video, when I look, all these things they happen for a go.
investment financing. There has to be somebody who knows how to drive private sector to invest. There has to be somebody who, who has an A class, you know, uh, resume with respect to operating within the private sector. So, so that's why I'm asking all the people your eye where we can't go when they talk sales or just anybody there. Anybody, anybody there? All these things, they don't go with that. There has to be somebody who understands what things they mean. So the people when they run for governor today, they don't know what thing it is. You know, you write A or a thing like uh, electric code, they don't go for people now. So they don't make mistakes. So they have to make sound people with network, people with generation, extensive private sector, local network. We have capacity to attract big ticket transactions to this year. Those are the kinds of people that we Wow, I think you're coming great again. Guys, share this video because most shocking thing I'm not gonna see. God bless you. Uh, this afternoon, I joined the investors in our Metro State oil palm production program, which we have named ESOP, to visit the facilities and farm of one of the investors in the program. ERPN, Dufil who, as you know, are the um, makers of Indomie, very popular brand, uh, Indomie. They got land from the state government under this program in 2019 to farm oil palm. And once they started, their oil palm investments, they then saw the need uh, to diversify into cassava because of the availability of cassava in the area. And as you can see here today, they have invested in excess of 25 billion naira in different investments in farms or in the factory to process cassava. So we are here this afternoon to see how far they've gone, see what they've done, see what challenges they have, and how we collectively, as government, as some investors, can work with each other to reduce the risks and encourage more investments. The state is already benefiting from this investment uh, because, as you can see, I'm here with a factory that has been built over the last three or four years that is producing quality cassava flour and other byproducts for the poultry industry. So, from the from the standpoint, from the food sufficiency standpoint, we are benefiting from what is being produced for food. Beyond that, we are, as a state, uh, we received substantial investments. So you just imagine that only one of the investors has invested this amount. It shows you how much has come into the economy of the state and explains why you see a lot of economic activities going on. This is direct investments from them. So you can imagine the indirect investment, the multiply effects, the people who are supplying them with their goods and services. Thirdly, jobs. Here alone, directly, from the farms to the factory, they employ over 1,500 people. This is direct employment. This does not include transporters who bring in products, herbs, 
materials for them and take away materials. It does not include other farmers in the neighborhood who supply, produce and supply them. So you can imagine for every one job they create directly, there must be at least four or five other jobs that go with this investment. So they are, they are helping us reduce the challenge of unemployment. Then just the benefit of bringing in you know, more people into the area. I'm sure when you people drove in here, we don't have imagined that facilities like this would exist in the middle of nowhere. They're helping us develop the state, open up the space, expand the state, create more opportunities. And um, lastly, they signal what is possible and what will happen. So it's looking today, it's flour mill tomorrow, which means that other people in that business, other people in the food business, now know that Edo is one place you can come and invest and make a lot of returns and grow your business. So I believe those um, those benefits are very clear to everybody, and that even our critics now understand why they all use matter. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, maybe you want to ask, yes? I'm concerned about our safety. Do we still have the ones with many problems? I'll allow the company answer. But what they have done is to now show us that what we are producing today as cassava is a mini school of what the demand is. First note that the variety of cassava which they are using for industrial production is different from the one we eat. That is the first thing you must note. But secondly, they have now brought in more knowledge and expertise on how to grow cassava. So even for the variety we eat, they will now help us improve the yield and productivity for those of our farmers who are cropping you know, cassava for uh, feeding. One of the things we have decided to do, government working with the investors, is see how to encourage those people who are already in you know, farming cassava on how to expand their production. So if you will, cropping a one five hectares of land before and we're only producing the, the variety that you use in making dairy. We now encourage you to expand to ten or fifteen and plant the variety for industrial use because there will be a buyer with you to take up uh, whatever you produce. But what is even interesting for me, which I found out today, is that the byproducts you see, after they peeled the cassava and processed and got on their flour, those byproducts you see, the peels and all of that, are not wasted. There's no waste. They're used at, as feedstock for you know other industries like the pigry industry. And I hear that it's very you know, those byproducts are in very, very high demand. So it's a chain, it's a, like a cycle where we are now beginning to produce food for ourselves. It's just the beginning. But it's a very important and significant beginning. Because as we all know today in Nigeria, they, we don't have the foreign exchange we used to have before. So all these materials, all this food we used to import, we don't have the resources to import as we did. And even if we did, the price would be too high for us. So the way out is what you are seeing here today, producing for the domestic market. That's the only way we can stabilize food supply. That's the only way we can stabilize our foreign exchange. Foreign exchange rates is this. Expanse of market. I'm not wondering the issue of security. Is it state collaborating with them to ensure this business is safe? The business is secure. The invaders. I will, let, I will let them answer that. Um, but I let them answer. They will give you. Yeah.
Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, it is our honor and privilege to honor His Excellency, his team, Chairman Isok, and other investors who have come all the way from the busy schedule to our site. We have thanked his, uh, his Excellency and his entire team for supporting us in this journey. And we are proud to say that uh, uh, we have very much benefited from His Excellency and his program and the arrangement which he and his team has given it to us throughout our journey from 2019 till date. As far as the question of security is concerned, we are in touch with the CSO government house on continuous basis. So, thankfully, so far we didn't face any problem and one or two incidents, whichever we faced, we immediately highlighted to CSO government house and within 24 hours, we got our problem resolved to our CSO and CSO government house and after that, we never faced any problem. Because we have local vigilante to protect us, we have our own security and at the same time we have a backbone support from His Excellency and his team. So we highlight to them if there is any issue, we get immediate attention from them. So how is the collaboration? Yeah, so we have around 17 communities uh, in our vicinity. So we are getting good support from them. So, so far we have employed almost 40% of community people in our farm. And as His Excellency mentioned, direct employment is around 1500 people. Out of that, uh, around 600 people are working from the community direct employment. Plus we give them certain jobs, contract to build our housing, to do road clearing work, so that they support to us and we get good support from them. And at the same time, with the ESOP program, we have signed a big agreement with them because of which we have done certain CSR like road trading program, solar installation program and in the long run we will give borrower and uh, educational scholarship to them. First you ask a question on cassava and uh, Nigeria is uh, in Africa the largest producer of cassava and you will see that here itself you feel as an issue to cassava farm right so the impact of food production is not supposed to be enough and the other companies too that are involved in, in commercial uh, cassava processing also have in situ farms okay but more importantly we have seen today that an opportunity also exists, just like we have in our park for cassava. Already, four, I even made an error there, four of the SOP investors, we have eight, actually are the biggest users of cassava in Nigeria. Three of them are domiciled in those states, of course, one of them you've seen today. I also know you have followed, uh, you are at Green Hills, we are the make it or not. So we, we are now going to collaborate with the government more to be able to create a program now more importantly around the small farmers so that it can benefit them and there can be consistent supply for them and also for food yeah that's that's clear um a good state as a business destination it's all you know you tell the governor something and he understands quickly and you could see do feel speak to this i know there have been challenges we face challenges every day but the method and manner in which ch those challenges are overcome gives us the confidence to continue to invest. I knew His Excellency spoke about 25 billion, but this 25 billion pieces for this alone, that's small. The oil palm is in excess of 50 billion I already invested. I did the back of my calculation at $8,000 per hectare. For $6,500, I'll leave you to work the math, right? So in the half a billion, we are saying that investors are bringing here alone. 20% of it is going to is going to be invested and as we make the tours you know you will see where the others are you know uh, one of my friends here said it's not about charts and grab this is what you can see on grab thank you verify it eh? yes sir. <laughs> <laughs> thank you sir. Thank you, sir. so we'll see you later oh you'll be back <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.